Today we have yet another lip swatch video. I love making these and I am sharing my 10 best drugstore lipsticks for spring. These are not only some of my favorite shades that I'll be wearing this season, but also formulas from comfortable mattes to high shine glossy finishes. If you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. We have a really good mix of new drugstore lipsticks as well as old favorites, so let's just get straight into swatching. Starting out with a bright pink from the Revlon Super Lustrous, the Luscious Matte Lipstick line. This is in the shade Candy Addict. It is such a beautiful powdery light pink. It reminds me a little bit of Saint Germain from MAC. This does have a flat matte appearance, but it applies very creamy and smooth. It glides on really easily without any lip tugging. This is just the perfect springtime pink. It's definitely what pops into my head when I think of the season, sort of like the springtime flower emoji. Emoji. Next we have what is probably my favorite color in the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream line. This is the shade San Francisco. I love this. It's kind of in between a neutral beige and a muted peach. I feel like it could either lean as a pop of color or a neutral depending on whatever the rest of your makeup looks like so it is very versatile in that regard. Such a good everyday shade. Next we have my personal Your Lips But Better shade. This is from the new Physicians Formula Rose Kiss All Day Pencil line. Line in the shade Pillow Talk. So like I said, this is very close to my natural lip color, just a little bit boosted, a little bit more vibrant. It's sort of a light beigey mauve, definitely a neutral, but just adds a nice polished look to the lips. This formula is so pleasant. It goes on really balmy and creamy, though it feels light. It's sort of a satin finish. It's not all the way matte, but it's not shiny either. For those of you who have been struggling with dry lips all winter and you're kind of trying to stay away from the mattes and want something moisturizing, this will be your favorite this season. This is the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Oil. I am swatching the shade Fresh Squeezed, which I've been wearing nonstop the past two weeks. This just feels so good on the lips despite it being an oil. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I feel like it just sinks into the lips to hydrate them super quickly and it gives you a really beautiful wash of color. It is sheer, but it has this stained appearance that does stick around for a little bit. Here's another great option if you are sick of matte lipsticks. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish in the shade Power Up. This is sort of a hybrid between a lip gloss and a lipstick. You get a ton of pigment, full coverage color, but it stays very shiny. And the shade Power Up is just an electric coral that I think is great for making a spring statement. This formula is so comfortable. It has a cushy feel. It doesn't feather outside of your lip lines. I am usually hesitant when it comes to glossy formulas because either lip glosses aren't pigmented enough or they have a lot of color but they're goopy and they end up all over your face. But this is like my ideal lip gloss. Next up, I mentioned these lipsticks very briefly in a past video, but I've really, really come to love them as some of my favorite bullet lipsticks in my collection right now. They are the Pixie Naturelle Lips lipsticks, and this is in the shade Poppy. This is such a beautiful true coral or poppy orange kind of shade for spring. The reason why I love the Naturelle lips is that it's kind of like an intense lip balm. When I apply this, my lips feel hydrated all day, but the formula is not slippy, so you're not gonna get as much transfer as with a wetter product. You do get a really nice wash of color, with these lipsticks, they are not super intense colors, so I feel like they are more wearable for every day. Now, in my last video when I mentioned these really quickly, I said that I didn't like the packaging because they are in these sort of half plastic, half cardboard tubes and the feel gives me the heebie-jeebies. I realized why I don't like it so much. They remind me of the old school cardboard tube tampons. I'm sorry, Pixie, I love this lipstick formula, but that is what this packaging reminds me of and I don't like it. I don't like pulling it open. Oh, that gives me like a super PTSD. <laughs> 
Here's another bullet lipstick that is so comfortable, so easy to apply, as well as being really lightweight. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick in Lit. The shade is a slightly pinkish orange. I think it's a lot more wearable than just wearing a straight up orange for spring, especially across different skin tones. Now this formula just glides on so easily, it almost feels like you're putting on Carmex. And the color payoff is super intense. Now it does stay feeling kind of slick on the lips and it's not completely transfer proof, but it does leave a pretty good stain behind on the lips. All right, we're back to matte lipsticks, although on the spectrum of matte, this still is a pretty comfortable formula. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Treat Yourself. I think one of my most viral videos on YouTube is me swatching this entire collection, and I think this might have been the shade in the thumbnail. Anyway, it would not be a spring lipstick roundup if we didn't have a hot pink. I do prefer wearing these ink crayons versus the matte ink liquid lipsticks. I think they're just a little bit easier to apply to get Get precise with and in general have a lighter feel. They don't last as long. I think on me I got max like nine hours of wear but that's still long enough for me and they are very easy to reapply unlike the liquid lipstick versions. Those are kind of hard to layer up. Next we have another bold pink though this has much warmer undertones than the previous one we swatched which leans a little purple when you look at them side by side. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Ultra Matte Lipstick in Thrill Seeker. I think I made Made the hefty claim right when these came out that they're probably going to be the best bullet lipsticks of 2020 and I'm standing by that at least in the matte category because they go on almost feeling wet but then you do get this beautiful smooth flat matte finish that is not drying even though this is a bold pink I feel like it leans very wearable it's not neon or really jarring at all this is going to be a very flattering shade if you have yellow or just warmer undertones like myself and the color payoff speaks for it itself. And finally, we have this cute Barbie-esque pink. This is the L'Oreal Paris Signature Rouge Liquid Lipstick in Eye Saver. These are actually more of a lip stain. They go on incredibly thin and almost water-like, but you still get pretty intense color payoff and it lasts. So these do stain the lips. They'll wear off slightly throughout the day, but as they fade, they fade very evenly and you will never be left with completely bare lips. Like you'll always have a little bit of color left. You get sort of a satin finish. They don't dry down to a flat matte but they don't stay glossy either. I always forget that I'm wearing lip product at all when I have these on. They are so comfortable it just feels like a second skin. Tell me which was your favorite spring drugstore lipstick shade in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Gia and Carla. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I talk about a super underrated eyeshadow palette that I love that nobody is talking about here on YouTube. I'll see you over there. Bye!